What is the most important for Amazon sellers? Of course, it's to sell as many products as possible in the shortest amount of time. For many years, our Beeple Repricer has been helping hundreds of thousands of sellers to make more money while saving their time. Has anything changed for the past 11 years since we have been on the market? Well, there is. It all started with a rule-based repricing back in 2011. It was revolutionary back then, and many Amazon sellers still use it even today. But after years of research and development, our company created the AI Repricer. It changed the repricing game forever and gained popularity within the Amazon sellers community. But what is next? Is there anything new? There is. We released the conditional repricer next generation revolutionary technology that allows automating the repricing process. As a result, it would help you get even more sales and also save you more time. When you look at the conditional repricer for the very first time, it might look a little bit complicated. That's why we made this video for you. In today's video, we'll help you to learn how to use our conditional repricer step by step. We'll also help you understand why you need the conditional repricing and share three actionable repricing strategies that you could use right away for your business. What is conditional repricer and why do you need it now? Conditional repricer is a new technology that helps Amazon sellers automate their repricing by using different market conditions. CR will help you switch to different rules dynamically as well as change your min price based on your ROIs. You can also enhance your repricing strategy by dynamically auto switching from rule based repricing rules to AI repricing rules or vice versa. The good thing is that you can create different systems in advance based on different scenarios. After that, you just set it up in our repricer and forget about it. As a result, you'll be able to make more money and save more time because the process is even more automated. You might ask yourself, why do you need to use conditional repricing if you're already getting good results with our AI repricing? There are four reasons why it's beneficial for you. First, instead of just using one AI rule, you can now use five AI rules with auto switching. You could also use it in combination with rule-based rules based on the current market conditions. Second, you could get more orders and more profits because now you could switch rules based on the sales of a product that you have and other important factors such as the buy box win percentage. Third, you could save more time instead of having to switch the rules manually you set up automations, which will give you better results. Fourth, you can now automate min price, which will give you a better chance to get more sales for products that are slow moving. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the important settings for conditional repricing. When you click on the conditional repricing tab, you will see five options for you to select. First, there's inventory age condition selection. When selecting this option, it will reprice based on how long you have the product in stock. Then you have the sell-through rate conditions. The sell-through rate conditions pulls the sell-through rate report from Amazon Inventory Planning and show how fast this product is selling in the last 90 days compared to the average number of sellable units in the fulfillment centers during that time. Third, there are days of supply conditions. The primary purpose for this option is to price depending on how many days Amazon has estimated for the days of supply of a product. This will be useful when you have a lot of products stored typically for larger sellers. Then there are two options, which are FBA advanced conditions and FBM advanced conditions. Sellers can pick and match the conditions based on the available conditions. So how do you set it up? What are the different options? After clicking on the FBA advanced condition, the first place you will click is on the when condition. After clicking on this, you can pick from 18 different conditions. What does conditions mean? Conditions means what is occurring on the market. They are divided by inventory-based repricing, sell for rate, days of supply, units sold, available quantity, as well as buy box wins and pricing. Think of these as certain scenarios for your products to be repriced automatically. This gives you more control for those specific scenarios. For the scenarios we focus on today, they will be based on inventory-based repricing either for your inventory age or your inventory levels. These are the most popular selections from actual sellers. What are the important settings for conditional repricing? 
The conditions you set from the when condition will be executed based from top to bottom. So it will check the condition from the top row before going down to the next condition. You can set as many conditions as you like. You could also set subconditions under the main conditions. Think of this as Lego blocks. We don't recommend having more than two subconditions because then it limits the reprice only when the exact situation occurs, especially when you have applied this to a large number of listings. Some of the listings may not reprice because they don't meet all the requirements. To optimize the settings, we can click on the rule and there are three different selections. Here you could change the rule, change the rule and min price, and also adjust based on your current price on Amazon. If you select rule plus min price, you could also reset the min price based on ROI, estimated profit, or estimated profit margins. Now I'm going to share three actual strategies that you could use right away for your business. This is maximize profit, maximize sales, or liquidation. We have three common scenarios that many sellers face. The first is when you have reduced amount of inventory and your product is selling really well. In this scenario, you could actually make as much profit as you can with your remaining stock. The reason is the product you have is unique and it has a higher demand on the market and you have limited quantities. In this scenario, we'll first click on the FBA advanced condition. Then in the when condition, we click available quantity. The reason we do this is because we are repricing based on your available repricing inventory. We're adding multiple available quantities because our goal is to reprice based on the inventory that we have. When we have larger available quantities, we'll pick a more aggressive sales driven rule. When we have less available quantities, we'll pick a more profit driven rule. In this way, when we have less available units, we can reprice higher. For more advanced sellers, you could also raise your ROI or estimated profit margins in addition to selecting the rules. The second scenario is when you want to maximize your sales. The scenario is that you're selling products that still have demand, but you're selling less than you like. In this situation, the profit could still be lowered. In the second scenario, like the first, we'll reprice based on available quantity. However, because we want to move the product faster, we'll adjust our ROI based on the available units. In our example, when the available quantity is greater than or equal to 50, we'll lower the ROI to 30%. When we have 30 units or greater, we'll lower the ROI to 40%. When we have 15 units or greater, we'll have a higher ROI of 45%. If you want to have faster sales, this will help automate your repricing based on your available inventory. The third scenario is when you overstock products. These are products that you purchase too much of and there's little demand for the product right now. This could be a perishable item, something with an expiration date and shelf life. This could also be a seasonal product which have much lower demand or a product that you know that the prices will drastically drop. These are overstock products that will likely become dead stock and no longer sell. The reason you want to do this is that you need to cash flow from your inventory so that you can reinvest in other inventory. Also, you may want to avoid high storage fees and you want to recover some money back. In our example, you want to move your inventory within three months and send new inventory in. We'll first go into the inventory age condition and I'm naming this liquidate overstock inventory. Then I go to next and then in the next screen, uh, I'm going to pick the rule plus min price. So that's anything that's over 91 and 180 days. So for the rule and min price, I'm putting all the ROIs to 0%. And I'm making all the rules after 91 and 180 days to sales maximizer, the most aggressive rule to liquidate my products. And then between 61 and 90 days, I'm picking sales booster. And I'm actually having a lower ROI than my original ROI. So I have that at 15%. Then again, I do the same thing from 31 and 60 days, and I have it on AI equalizer. And here I have it at 25% ROI. And then between zero and 30 days, uh, this is when I have it on the AI profit booster. Now, when none of the above conditions are met, then I select AI equalizer for an equal amount of sales and profits. Today, we walked you through and explained how you can use the conditional repricer to your advantage. We also focus on three inventory-based repricing strategies that you could use to get started based on three different scenarios. Reduce stock, maximize sales, and also liquidate your products. 
we would recommend you to use these immediately for your business and see an increase in the profits and the number of orders sold. By automating your repricing based on inventory stock and inventory age, this will take your business to the next level. These rules are already being used and have helped many BeQuil customers get better sales results. Make sure to sign up to BeQuil to get your 14-day free trial. We're BeQuil. We keep innovating to help you stay cool with your Amazon business.